Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Right, I just want to clear up a few things because I noticed a few of you uh, have gotten quite upset about the fact that I've actually gone out for some exercise, right? That was my morning walk, by the way, people, right? Now, yes, a few days ago, I thought I was actually going to go to the bloody hospital, right? I had a fever and I felt like absolute crap. 24 hours later, I felt absolutely fine. 48 hours and I'm getting better. And this is a few days later and I'm getting stronger and stronger. Um, now, let me just fill you in how Test and Trace works. This is my understanding, right? When I <clears throat> started feeling symptoms on the Test and Trace app, it asks you the date when you started feeling symptoms. So your self-isolation actually starts from that uh, original you know, four days, not the day you get your test results. So I had four days plus a fifth day when I reported it, or I reported it on the fourth day, went and had the test on the next day, got the results on the next day. So basically a week had already transpired or passed before I, um, before I got my results back. So I isolated for another week. Um, that finished yesterday. Um, so I went out and dumped rubbish and I got water. Luckily I did because the weather's obviously turned. Um, so go and report me, go and report me to the police, go and report me to, you know, the CRT or the test and trace or the government or whatever. It doesn't make any bit of difference. Um, I am within my rights. I know my rights. So you can only get stuffed as far as I'm concerned. If you don't like it, don't watch my bloody channel. That was my exercise for the morning. It was the first, second bit of exercise I've had in like two weeks apart from walking outside and starting the generator. So if you don't like it, unsubscribe and bloody well piss off and leave me alone.